first ever solo royal engagement with the Queen, Meghan turned to one of her favorite brands, Burks, for her jewels. The Duchess of Sussex chose a discreet pair of Akoya pearl and diamond earrings in white gold from Burks's Splash collection. The earrings retail for $1,095. As she joined Prince Harry at Buckingham Palace on May 22 for the Prince of Wales' 70th birthday patronage celebration, Meghan accessorized her pale pink goat dress with Vanessa Tugendhaft earrings. The floral motif Idol La Rose earrings are made of diamonds and 18 karat white gold. The reception was the Duchess of Sussex's first time wearing both her engagement ring and her new wedding band to an official public royal event. Meghan's trilogy engagement ring, made by court jewelers Cleave and Company, is gold set with three diamonds specially selected by Prince Harry. The large central gem is from Botswana, where the royal couple took their first trip together while the other two diamonds are from the personal collection of the prince's late mother Princess Diana. On Meghan and Harry's wedding day, the palace confirmed that the bride's wedding band was fashioned from a piece of Welsh gold, gifted by Her Majesty the Queen. The newly minted royal was also wearing a new bracelet, which hasn't been identified. British newspaper The Sun speculated that it is another white gold and diamond Cartier piece, the Essential Lines Bracelet, which starts at $20,600. As Prince Harry and Meghan headed off from Windsor Castle to Frogmore House for their wedding reception, the Duchess was spotted wearing an aquamarine ring which once belonged to the groom's late mother, Princess Diana, and was created by Osprey in 1997, the year she died in a tragic car accident. The enormous emerald-cut aquamarine is set in 24 karat yellow gold. The newlywed Duchess of Sussex opted for new Cartier earrings for her first night as a royal. She swapped the more discreet pair that she wore for the religious ceremony for these white gold and diamond Cartier earrings from the Reflection Collection. The earrings are priced at $68,000. What would a royal bride be without a spectacular tiara? Meghan's new grandmother-in-law Queen Elizabeth II loaned her Queen Mary's diamond bandeau to complement her Claire Waitkeller for Givenchy wedding dress. While the heirloom tiara was created in 1932, the center 10 diamond diamond brooch was gifted to Queen Mary by the County of Lincoln to celebrate her marriage to the Duke of York in 1893. On her wedding day, the Duchess wore new earrings that followed the motif of the heirloom Queen Mary the Gallantry diamond earrings by Cartier. Made from white gold and diamonds, the design seems like a tailor-made match for the center stone of the bride's antique headpiece. As 
Meghan held hands with Prince Harry and shared a laugh at the altar, we could see her gorgeous Cartier bracelet from the jewelous reflection collection on her right wrist. The white gold and diamond piece is priced at $155,000.